This video tutorial is just a brief overview on how to access and copy the Strengths and Difficulties questionnaire, along with finding the connected form, scoring the sheet, sorting, filtering, and adding additional editors. On the Google document, select the survey you would like to make a copy of, and follow that link to the template. Once the template page opens, select Use Template, You will then see your copy of the Strengths and Difficulties Questionnaire Spreadsheet. Rename the spreadsheet by clicking on the title at the very top, and this will also autosave. You also know that your spreadsheet has copied successfully when you see the Form and Sheet Functions tabs located at the top. To find the form, that is connected to the spreadsheet, go to the Forms tab and then click Go to Live Form. You will then see the form linked to your spreadsheet. Up in the URL, highlight that link and then copy it. This is the link you will send to those you are wanting to fill out this questionnaire. To make edits to your form, click on the pencil in the lower right corner. This will open up the form in editing mode. You may also want to rename this form by clicking on the title at the very top, just like you did on the spreadsheet. Any changes made to the form in editing mode will autosave. An additional way to find the URL to this form for those filling it out, click on the eye icon toward the top of the editor and then highlight the URL at the very top. Now back to the spreadsheet. When a form is feeding to a Google Sheet, it puts them in order of the oldest to the newest. To change that, we can go up to the sheet functions and go to date sort. The first time you run a script, you're going to have to accept the permissions. So click on continue. Use your at clovisusd.k12.ca.us email. Then scroll down and click on allow. This gives permission for those scripts to run. After giving permission, run the script one more time and you will see that it now works. If you run the script a second time and nothing happens, refresh the page. To run the calculations for the sheet, go to Sheet Functions and click on Score. You will then see that all the calculations will be made and displayed. We have also included a Priority Sort function. To run that, go up to Sheet Functions and click on Priority Sort. To add additional editors to your spreadsheet, click on Share, and go ahead and type in the names of those people you would like to give editing access to. If necessary, you can go ahead and type a quick message down below. Double check that they have editing access, and then select Send. They will be notified that you have shared the spreadsheet with them through email. Sorting the spreadsheet the traditional way may cause issues, so please use the sheet functions or you can set filters to look for your information. Click on data, go down to create a filter, and what that will do is it will give you a small icon with the three lines at the top of each column. Select that and then you can go ahead and clear and select only the values that you want. To turn that off, select the filter again and then say select all. You can also sort by color. So go ahead and go to filter by color, fill color, and then select the color that you would like to see. And then again, to turn that off, you can click on the filter one more time. Go to filter by color and then select none. To turn off filtering, go up to the data tab and then select turn off filter.